I got a confession to make. I'm not really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. That may come as a surprise given my expansive knowledge of completely worthless Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or maybe my video essays where I boldly claim how I would write the sinking ship that is modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Truth is, I believed I could cruise along without actually honing my dueling skills. After all, if talking heads like Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless can host their million dollar shows in million dollar studios talking about multi-million dollar players for sports that they've never played, surely I can get away with a few silly YouTube videos. Do I really need to know when to ash Valmonica to make a Joe Rogan podcast parody about the dangers of degenerate tournament gambling? But eventually, a guilt began to settle in. Every time I had to log into Master Duel to rip card images, it would stare back at me. Rookie. My Twitter timeline much the same, as prying eyes stare deep into my core. I decided it was time to lock in. As I prepared to embark on my journey into the depths of dueling, I started to formulate my grand strategy. Which decks would I pilot? What about deck building? Homebrew or net deck? Ultimately, I came up with this game plan. I wanted to pilot a deck that was powerful enough to be included on the Master Duel meta power rankings, the only legitimate ranking system known to the casual Master Duel world. Furthermore, I would be using only Master 1 decks as a reference for deck building, that way I wouldn't be swayed by my teehee funny card addiction. Finally, for my deck of choice, I went with Labyrinth. Now you might be wondering, why would I voluntarily sign myself up to an indefinite stay in the halls of the Silver Castle? Well, to be honest, it's the short turns. See, one of the biggest hurdles to Yu-Gi-Oh isn't even learning the mechanics. I know much more than your average Yu-Gi boomer when it comes to bottom of the bin niche interactions. But in the realm of Snake Eyes, Fire King, Link Ladders, I may as well be Yami Yu-Gi himself. I strategically wanted my deck to have quick turns so I could spend more of my precious turn timer leveraging the most powerful tool in a Yu-Gi-Oh player's arsenal, reading. So I got to building my lovely ladies. Luckily, I had most of the cards. I thought about grabbing Ryan Yu's first place Duelist Cup list from March, but even I realized that this list was a product of its time. So I looked at the most recent dual level max lists and got to copying. After some time synthesizing multiple top contenders, I came up with this list. Three times Arias, three Trap Trick, and an arsenal of two ofs to fetch. Also, I crafted two royals, and wasn't recording my reaction, but the jealous looks radiating from your monitor is good enough for me. And so I threw myself into ranked with little to no practice, because surely I can climb out a rookie without practicing advanced combo lines, right? Ugh, it's been like, I don't think I've dueled in like three months. But surely, surely we're good. Look, this guy's probably a bot. Who uses the rescue rabbit mate? No sleeves, was that five cards? Five cards, I think we're good to go. With only five extra deck cards, I knew that this was either a bot looking to farm wins or a new player looking for his first win. So I decided I'll just practice my combos. Trap trick. Then we're going to special summon one. Oh, it's so laggy, what is going on? Wait, I'm lagging? All right, what you got, Lyoko? Nothing. I have to think this through. I think I have lethal, right? Because I can trap trick for normal lab labyrinth, blow up, and then... No, no, we can just do it like this, right? Oh, I can just do it like this, too. Wow. It's okay, buddy. I get it. If you gotta go, you gotta go. There we go. Oh my god! What is this lag? Yo, that was crazy. Having narrowly escaped the back rooms of dueling, I hope that the lag would go away. Dude, these bots have to be playing from like, Peru or something. This is a really good hand, oh my goodness. So I can go welcome. Here's Sky Striker. Going first, Sky Striker. Okay. 
I could trap trick for different dimension ground, but that seems so extra. Never mind, this is... What is this? This is what I'm worried about. I wonder if the... Okay. But just like that, we're out of rookie and into bronze. Let's uh, get to more dueling. Having successfully escaped both of our creepy pasta duels, we move on to bronze, where we find our first signs of resistance. I hope to run into at least one human being by the end of this video. Darkhiz27 doesn't sound like a bot name, but he is making me go first. Something that I'm sure that one of us is going to regret. 15 card extra. This guy's a real person. Okay, first game alive. So we're gonna go... So we can Coot Clock. Probably the correct start, right? I could also... Arios? Who do I want in rotation? Who's better in rotation? New card syndrome. Bounce you. Just pop a card in hand. Zexel Field, we are playing a real human being. Then we will... Does it actually make more sense to keep this in the graveyard to just... Ugh, decisions. I'll leave it. I love decision making. I should have just played stun. Swords of Revealing Light. I'm still bullying. This is a bullying live children now. Not even robotic children. Uh, end phase is not what you want, boss. So we'll go this lady. Now let's see you. Pop one card on the field. Six thousand. It's not enough with Ariana. So I want to do this, right? I could also just coo clock. This should work. I want to try this. Okay, that's the bounce. We don't need that. We're just going to welcome. Not even going to BM him because I highly, highly doubt he has anything. Just get us both out of here. I don't want to be seen playing Labyrinth and Bronze. That's another one down. Okay, here we go. A real person. First real test. Will I fold to the first hand trap we see? Luckily, my hand is pretty dang solid. Oh my goodness. I see the lines. I... We go. Hmm, that's the one. If he has Lightning Storm, I will take the first L of the series. Polly? Okay. <laughs> there are some things in here that I'm scared of. Not because I'm scared of the monsters, because I'm scared of losing to some super jank. Like, why don't you throw five dragons and he gets five headed dragon? Okay, two dragons. Looks like a blue eyes. This is gonna be mean to traps, isn't it? There's Tyrant. It is the battle phase. Big welcome labyrinth. Someday someone will interrupt me and I'll have to pay for my crimes, but until then, luckily for all of us, a lovely is not a trap. I mean, seriously, come on. I feel like my timer goes down just because I'm like, I lose like three seconds every time like it passes back because I'm just, I can't sit here for this long while he disconnects. That's another one down. This guy has my profile of my own very own lady. Maybe I'll actually see an Ash Blossom played. Because if anyone knows when to Ash me, it's got to be someone with an Ash Blossom profile and three extra deck cards. This has to be. This has to be a mirror. Who the heck are you? Let's go! Three in a row. And this was a real deck, we'll call it. Will the win streak continue? 
Will someone actually put up a single interruption? Find out on the next episode of Guy Who Talks About Yu-Gi-Oh! Too Much Actually Plays Yu-Gi-Oh!